multilinear composite model. This example shows the application of the analytical multilinear composite model and compares it with its equivalent numerical counterpart. The document contains two analyses with two different numerical linear composite models used to generate the pressure data. The first analysis has three linear compartments with varying reservoir properties but equal interface areas. Reservoir properties of each region can be viewed in the Reservoir Properties dialog. In the second analysis, reservoir properties for each region are the same as the previous analysis, but the interface areas between compartments are not equal. Switch to Analysis tab. Select the first analysis and duplicate it. Access the Analytical Model dialog and set the boundary model to Multilinear Composite. Set initial pressure to 7000 PSIA and the number of compartments to 3. Edit the properties and geometry of the compartments to end up with the configuration equivalent to the original numerical model. The 2D model schematic can be viewed as shown. Note that the schematic updates when geometry parameters are edited. Generate the model. Compare the model response with the Model A numerical model. There is good agreement between the analytical and numerical models. Switch to Model B Analysis and duplicate it. Access the Analytical Model dialog. Display the 2D model schematic and set initial pressure and the number of compartments to 7000 PSIA and 3 respectively. Edit the properties and geometry of compartments to end up with the configuration equivalent to the original numerical model. Click on Generate. Compare the model response with the Model B numerical model. There is a slight difference between the two models' data due to the limitation of analytical method in modeling flow convergence when the area changes. Note that convergence towards the well is always modeled in the compartment containing the well. This concludes this video on multilinear composite model.